Hey there, welcome back to the 45 Home Lab YouTube channel. I'm Zach Perry, back with another video. This time we're covering the recent news on some upcoming changes to Plex and a look at some possible alternatives. So let's get into it. So what's happening with Plex? Starting on April 29th, there's going to be a few changes like the first price increase in eh, about a decade, I would say. So monthly prices, they're gonna be going from $4.99 to $6.99, yearly from $39.99 to $69.99. And the biggest jump by far is the lifetime going from $119.99 to $249.99, an increase of 108%. So if you were planning on making the jump to lifetime, you'll have until April 29th. On the upside, Plex is removing the one-time mobile activation fee that was previously required to stream for more than one minute on iOS and Android devices. And they will also have an open API for server integrations and custom metadata agents. Next, and probably the most controversial, is the that remote streaming is becoming a paid feature. So if you already pay for Plex Pass or the server owner has a Plex Pass, this isn't gonna impact you. But anyone who is currently a free user, you're gonna to need to purchase a Pass going forwards. But Plex has also introduced a new cheaper subscription called Remote Watch Pass, uh, priced at $1.99 monthly or uh, $19.99 annually. I've seen a whole lot of chatter from the home lab community, from people asking for alternatives from Plex, and that's a fair question to ask. So today I'll be covering the alternative that seems to come up most often, and that is Jellyfin. So full disclosure, I currently use Plex for local streaming in my home, and I've only been trying out Jellyfin for eh, the last little bit. But I'm gonna make this as objective as I can and give my opinion at the end on what works best for me based on the features of each and my personal experience. So with that out of the way, here's a short rundown of my research and personal experience between Plex and Jellyfin. So starting off, the setup of each, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you set up Plex, you can set up Jellyfin. You can deploy bare metal or containerized and the UIs are very similar between the two more polished on Plex, but when it comes to data collection, Plex collects data like playback statistics and performance metrics, so Jellyfin might be good, uh, might be a good choice for privacy concerned folks as there's no data collection whatsoever. Now, Jellyfin has no paywalled features and it is completely open source. It also uses plugins for things like skipping intros uh, and credits while Plex has this feature paywalled behind its Plex Pass. Plex and Jellyfin, they both support many clients, but where Plex kind of has an advantage here is for anybody who wants to access their library on gaming consoles like PlayStation or Xbox. And Plex and Jellyfin, they both support hardware and software transcoding. While both are free on Jellyfin, Plex Pass is required for hardware transcoding. Uh, one big thing is that Jellyfin works offline and it doesn't need any kind of cloud authentication. And finally, both have excellent community support and documentation. Personally, since I'm already running Plex on my HL8, I have Plex Pass, I don't see myself migrating uh, anytime soon to Jellyfin or any alternatives like MB, but that doesn't mean I never will. Uh, Jellyfin is constantly evolving, has great community support, uh, so I'm gonna be keeping an eye on it and see how it changes over the next coming months and years. But let me put the question to you. How do you feel about it? The news from Plex, do you plan on making the switch? Are you already using Jellyfin, Jellyfin or something else? Uh, let us know in the comments below. So we're gonna be making uploads much more frequently to this channel. So unfortunately, you're gonna be seeing my face uh, on your YouTube feed much more often. But if there's anything else you wanna see um, from a hardware, software, uh, any tutorials, build videos, anything really, let me know. And if you're interested in learning more about our HL4, 8, and 15 products from 45 Home Lab, head over to store.45homelab.com. Be sure to check out our previous video on using the HL15 as a Plex server, which will be linked in the description below. Thanks for joining me and have a good one, everyone.